Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand various types of selectors provided by CSS. Why CSS provides various types of selectors? The answer is CSS provides various types of selectors so that we can be able to get more control over selection of HTML elements and apply styles on them efficiently. In the previous video tutorial, we have understood CSS tag selector. We know that CSS tag selector selects every HTML tag with the specified tag name and applies styles on them. That is, we use CSS tag selector if we want to select HTML elements by their tag name. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss CSS class selector. To select tags by their class attribute value and apply styles on them, we use class selector. We know the syntax of CSS rule set. That is, we write a selector, it may be any selector, then in flower brackets, we put declaration list. To implement class selector, what we do? In place of selector, we write class attribute value preceded by period symbol or dot symbol. There is an attribute called as class. That class attribute you can use in almost every HTML tag. So, tag name class attribute equal to class attribute value. You can give any value here. Use a defined name. As I told to implement class selector, in place of a selector, we write class attribute value preceded by dot symbol. In flower brackets, we write declaration list. What it does? It selects every HTML tag which has specified class attribute value and applies styles on them. For example, p tag class attribute value we have given solid border. Then what we have to do means in CSS, in place of selector, we have to write class attribute value preceded by the dot symbol. In flower brackets, we write declaration list. What actually this CSS rule set does is it applies the specified styles on every HTML tag which has a class attribute value solid border. Understanding? So, remember that CSS class selector selects every HTML tag available on the page with the specified class attribute value and applies specified styles on them. Let's see the demonstration so that you get a clear idea. I minimize it. Go to start. I type here notepad. I click on notepad. Then I write here basic structure of HTML5 document less than exclamation mark doc type HTML close HTML lang equal to en close closing HTML tag opening head tag closing head tag opening body tag closing body tag in the head section I say meta care set equal to utf8 I go to file save as I save the file at desktop with the name default.html both sides I put double quotation click on the save button I minimize it you can see default.html page got created I right click on it open with the Firefox you can see default.html page got open I need to set the title so I go to notepad here I am going to say title CSS class selector demo closing title file save go to browser and refresh you can see CSS class selector demo has been set as a title. So it's very simple. In the body tag, I am going to create some paragraphs. Okay. I create a P tag and then I say some text closing P tag. I copy this, paste it few times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe 7. So total 8 times we have. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We know that paragraph tag is a block level tag hence the text will get display one below another if i want to apply the border around these paragraphs we know that we have to go to head section and use the style tag type equal to text or css closing style if i want to apply styles on all of these paragraphs then i am going to use a tag selector so i say p opening bracket closing bracket and then i say here border of 2 pixel solid black color let's take semicolon file save then what it does it locates every paragraph on the current page and applies the specified style 
file save go to browser and refresh you can see every paragraph has a black color border right now i don't want that what actually i want is i want to apply these two paragraphs should be in maybe green color these two paragraphs may be in red color how do we do that by using tag selector it is not possible so what we have to do is we should be able to group the tags to do that we use class attribute so here i am writing class attribute here also i am going to use class attribute to group these two paragraphs together to the class attribute we have to give same value what colored border i want i want red border so here i say red border simple so i have given a name or a value to the class attribute same value i am going to give the red border i copy it and paste it over here now what happens is these two paragraphs are going to belong to a single class called red border now here what we have to do means we have to write the class attribute value red border in flower brackets we put the declaration list that i write later we know that class attribute value should be preceded by dot dot in css indicates class selector friends here i am going to say border of 2 pixel solid red semicolon file save now what happens we have to understand in the previous video tutorials i told you that specific selectors are going to have highest precedence than generic selector here p is a generic selector whereas class selector is more specific right we are telling only these two paragraphs which has the class attribute value red border they should have the border of 2 pixel solid red so this is going to win with respect to these two tags file save go to browser and refresh you can see these two paragraphs are having the red border and all other paragraphs are having the black border that is how we implement class selector friends hope you guys are understanding similarly for example i want to apply these two paragraphs should have the border of green color then what i do same i write here class equal to g r w e n green border b o r d e r you can give here any name okay here class equal to green border then i go here i say dot green border then i say border of 2 pixel solid green semicolon file save go to browser and refresh oh i think i made a mistake somewhere let's see where i have a mistake here i have a mistake uh, double quotations file save go to browser and refresh you can see these two paragraphs are having now green color border hope you guys are understanding how do we implement class attributes how they help us to group html elements and apply specific styles okay now i am going to demonstrate one more situation let me drag it down i delete these things so that we can see the text properly okay file save go to browser refresh so as i told i am going to demonstrate one more situation what i want now is i want these four paragraphs font size should be 14 point how do we do that now what we can do is we can go to these class selectors here in red border i am going to say font dash size of 14 pt semicolon here also i am going to say font dash size of 14 pt semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see these four paragraphs are now having the font size of 14 pt right but one of the thing you can observe carefully in both of the classes we are repeating the code right there is the redundancy of code right we can reduce the redundancy of code by creating one more class for example i create here one more class dot maybe i say larger text class opening bracket closing bracket and here i say font dash size of 14 pt semicolon i am going to remove these line of codes file save go to browser and refresh now these are not in 14 point you can see because i have removed the code from these two classes i have written this class in this class font size 14 pt here i have one of the important point friends 
you can specify same class attribute value to more than one tag if required okay that we have already done we can specify the same class attribute value to more than one html elements that is the point this point indicates an html element can have list of class attribute values separated by white spaces if required list of class attribute values separated by white space so here we are going to see that as i told i want to display all of these paragraphs text should be in 14 point now how do i apply this class to these four paragraphs to do that we are going to give a space then we say this class selector name so here space paste space paste space paste space paste file save go to browser and refresh you can see now all these paragraphs are getting affected by these two classes right this paragraph is having red border larger text this paragraph is having red border larger text this paragraph is having green border larger text this paragraph is having green border larger text this is how you can give more than one class attribute values separated by space if you want to give more than one effects on a html element with that you can see you can reduce the line of codes you can reduce the redundancy of code you can manage your code more efficiently friends so that is the meaning of this line an html element can have list of class attribute values separated by white space if required hope you guys have understood whenever you see a class attribute having a list of attribute values separated by space you should understand that that html element is getting affected from more than one css class selectors okay next point is for example i create here one h3 tag and i say some heading closing h3 file save go to browser and refresh the h3 got displayed here you can see now i want to display a red border around it how do we do that i am not going to use the tag selector i can use the tag selector because there is only one h3 is there so i can say here h3 and display the red border right i am going to copy this and paste here file save go to browser and refresh it displays the red border but i am not going to use this new tag selector i remove that file save go to browser and refresh again the border is not there what we can do is we can reduce the redundancy of code we can simply use a class attribute and say here red border i copy it and paste here file save go to browser refresh red border you can see we have reduced a lot of line of code and also we can be able to manage our html page more efficiently hope you guys have understood what is class selector so we have understood to select tags by their class attribute value and apply styles on them we use class selector in place of selector we write class attribute value it selects every html tag which has a specified class attribute value and applies styles on them you can specify same class attribute value to more than one tag if required like this same class attribute value to more than one html elements if required an html element can have list of class attribute values separated by white space if required so that is what we have done here so i minimize for this tutorial this much is enough friends for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited i suggest you people to watch these videos again and again understand every concept clearly Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.